Hello, so in this video I'd like to briefly go over the uh, missing angles problems um, in the sum of angles and the polygon task which I sat on my maths. Now there's a reason why this is a really diff these questions are quite difficult is because these kind of polygons are what we would call concave. There are two kinds of polygons, let me just go up here. We have convex which are the ones that we've seen in class, they're the ones that you'll see in most questions. These are when all interior angles are less than 180 degrees. So that's, you know, that's going to be pretty much everything we've seen. If you look at a typical, you know, if you look at a typical polygon, the kind of one that we would have seen, so this is an irregular quadrilateral, but we can see all of the angles inside of it are less than um, 180 degrees. They're less than a full, uh, they're less than a straight line. Um, that's a convex polygon, um, but we also have concave polygons. Now these are polygons where the interior angles can be anything up to 360. So, well, you know, less than 360, but anything up to that. So it could be uh, maybe like an arrowhead shape like this. You know, some sort of arrowhead shape. I'm drawing that pretty well. But we can see here, if you look at the interior angles, you've got that's acute, that would be acute, and that would be acute. But then this interior angle here would be obtuse. Now it's really we it looks really strange, but if we consider this shape, look how many sides it has. It has one, two, three, four. And we know that the sum of angles in a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral, is 360. Now, if you take a look at that shape, the only way possible to make the interior angles 360, if we didn't have, if we didn't have that reflex angle here, you'd basically have one, two, three rather small acute angles, right? Rather small acute angles added up, and there's no way that could reach 360 in, unless this other angle was reflex. Because imagine if these were all 90, then you'd have 90, 180, 270. Then, you know, well, if they were all 90, then you'd have a square, obviously. But we can see that because they're so small, they're small acute angles, the other interior angle needs to be large in order for the angles to add up to 360. So, yeah, this is a concave polygon, and we're going to solve some problems on that as part of our maths watch, or my maths, sorry. So, basically, we, well, before I do that, we need two angle facts to solve these problems. So, one, Angles on a straight line are supplementary, or angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees, we need that, because that will help us work out all the interior angles. And two, we need to know that the angle sum of a polygon is basically 180 multiplied by how many um, triangles you can divide it into, or if we have an n-sided polygon, then the sum of the interior angles, so sum of interior angles of an n-sided polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180. We need both of these facts, and then we should be able to find our missing sides. So for the first, for the first example, first thing I'm going to do is find all of the missing angles inside the polygon. Okay. So I can see there's one here, and then I can use the fact that angles in a straight line add up to 180 um, by just subtracting 34 from 180 to find that missing angle. So let me do that, 6, 4, 1. So this missing angle here is 146 degrees. Um, the only other missing angle is at the top right, and I can see that would need to be 140 degrees. Because then 140 plus 40 is 180, and I have a complete straight line. Now, we, we should notice here that isn't actually all of the interior angles. There's another one. It's hard to spot. There's another one here. We can see they've told us that the exterior angle is 144. So, in fact, I've missed this out. We actually also need angles around a point. Around a point. Um, you know, I'm sure you know that that adds up to 360. Angles around a point um, adds, add up to 360 degrees. And we can see in order for that to work here, we need to have 360 minus 144. 
which is going to be 216. So what we should notice is that this is without a doubt a concave or non-convex polygon. So now we know all of the interior angles, but what, what are they going to add up to? Well, luckily, we can use our second theorem or our second rule that the sum of the interior angles is n minus 2 times 180. So all we need to do is count how many sides there are. So I'm just going to make a little division here of my page. So if I count the sides, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is an 8-sided shape or an 8-sided polygon, so I can say n is equal to 8. So to work out the sum of the interior angles, I need only do 8 minus 2 multiplied by 180. And if you've forgotten why, it's because I could divide this up into um, 6 triangles, 8 minus 2. So that's going to be 6 times 180. So let's do that briefly. 48. 1080. So that's going to give me 1080. That's going to be my angle sum. So altogether, all of the interior angles, 70, 216, 130, 146, 141, 108, 140, and x will all add up to 180. So to find x, I simply need to work out the sum of all the angles that I know and subtract that from 1080. So I'm going to say sum of known angles. So let's work that out. I'm just going to get my calculator on the screen. So just because it'll be a bit quicker. So 70, I don't want to update it. So oh, it's actually going to work. Right. So I'm going to, I'm going to go um, anti-clockwise. So 70 plus 216 plus 130 plus 146 plus 141 plus 108 plus 140. That leaves you with 951. So the sum of known angles is 951. So to get x, I simply need to do 1080 minus 951, which is going to be 129. And it's quite sensible. We can see x looks something around that. Of course, it's not drawn to scale, but it's quite a sensible answer. If we'd had an acute angle as an answer, that would not have been sensible. So I would say x is 129 there. Now, question two is a little bit more interesting. Um, I did work out a way of doing it earlier by halving, but I think there's an easier way. This dotted line clearly means that this shape, this sort of arrowhead type shape, is symmetrical. So that means this angle up here is going to be 38 degrees, and the exterior angle here is going to be 85 degrees. And once again, uh, this is a concave polygon because the interior angles here um, are clearly reflex angles. And to find those, I can just do 360 minus 85, uh, which is going to be like 280-something. 360 take away 85, 275, sorry. Um, so I have 275, 275. And those are my interior angles. And we can see it is a little bit, it looks like a little bit more than 270. So that's quite sensible. And once again, I can use the same trick. I can just add up the angles that I know um, and then subtract from what the sum of the interior angles needs to be. And once again, we just need to count how many sides we have. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just 6, 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six. For some reason I think I've got that wrong, but it is six, yeah. So it's got six sides, so that means n is six. So to find the sum of the interior angles, I simply do six minus two times 180, which is just four times 180, which is 40 and 32. That's going to be 720 because, you know, it's a, it's a hexagon. This is actually a really irregular hexagon, and we know the sum of the interior angles in a hexagon is 720. So that's going to be four times 180, 720. So to find x, I simply add up all the angles that I know within the shape. So here that is going to be, oh, my calculator wants to agree with me. So here that's going to be 38 plus 275 
plus 25 plus 275. Oh, sorry. Do that again. 38 plus 275 plus 25 plus 275 plus 38. So that's 651. And to find my missing angle x, I simply subtract that from 720, which gives me 69, which again is a fairly sensible answer. It's an acute angle, clearly. And that would be my answer. And just to confirm that on my maths, we have those very solutions. So hopefully that explains what we have to do in this question and also was introduced to you to the idea of a concave polygon. So if there are any other queries, please do let me know.